restart my channel. What's the hardest thing about becoming a content creator? Why did I move out at 17? This one of your biggest goals of 2023. Like, this one place that I really want to visit. I'm gonna start planning. subscribe go ahead and subscribe make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up do not forget to subscribe like i said and as you guys can tell by the title of this video it is basically gonna be a q a y'all getting to know me some questions that y'all have asked and some questions that y'all might want to know about me so i just got the shower y'all and look at my room y'all i bought it the other day from amazon and it came in today, you know, it's a little wrinkle, but it's cute and it feels super good. So, without further ado, because I'm not going to, you know, talk out of this in the intro, because y'all know I will. I have some questions in my notes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and ask. I don't really remember how many it was exactly, but, you know, nothing. So, it's 15, and I'm going to answer all 15 questions for y'all because I want y'all to know the answer to these questions so make sure you guys stay tuned for the entire video and like i said go ahead and give the video a big thumbs up you already know what to do so without further ado we're gonna get straight into this video the first question that i have for you guys is why did i restart my channel um some of you guys may know if y'all have been with me for the long run i did have a channel when i was in high school i think i was a senior or I started when I was a junior and carried it to my senior year and then around senior year I stopped. I am going on my second year of being out of school this year and I um my second question I have is what was the hardest thing about becoming a content creator? So basically y'all I'm really not where I want to be. You see what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of other things that I want to do but as far as now, the hardest thing has to be staying consistent. I'm not going to lie because if you procrastinate a lot, it's going to be harder. You know what I'm saying? If you post a lot and, you know, you really be consistent, it's easier to grow. You know, like it's always easier to grow when you're more consistent. That's, that's just the honest truth. Like that's probably one of the biggest tips or the most important tips that I would give anybody that ever asked me. How did you do it? How are you making it work? Being consistent is one of the most important things of becoming a content creator because as long as you want it and you work towards it, it's there for you. So I just be consistent, work hard, you know, this that was one of the hardest things for me because I'm a procrastinator and I'm impatient, you know what I'm saying? So I like things to be done like that, but it's not gonna come overnight. It didn't come overnight, it took me a while to get to where I am now. And it's taking even longer to get to where I really want to be. But, you know, you just don't give up and you just be consistent. So, uh, the third question, I really don't like talking about this, but I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know anyway. Um, the third question is, why did I move out at 17? Um, I moved out like a week before my 18th birthday. Probably three days before my 18th birthday or something like that. I don't really remember. But I know my birthday was like right around the corner because I was getting ready to move. And I kept thinking about how I wasn't going to be able to do nothing for my birthday because I was saving to move and things like that. But it turned out to be the best thing that has ever happened to me. But I moved out at 17, y'all, because as y'all know, I had a business. I wasn't, was I really into it? I don't really know if I was really into my business like I am now. Well, I know I wasn't into it like I am now, but I don't really remember why I really was in that time of my life as far as business. But I was going through a lot with my mom. Our relationship is much better now, I'm just to be honest with y'all. But I was going through a lot with her. And it was just so hard to keep staying with her, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was just so freaking hard for me. It was getting harder every day, and I was falling into depression. It was like, you know, kind of like a suicidal thing because everything was just so hard for me. I feel like everything was just being thrown on me, you know what I'm saying? And I understand, you know, I'm the oldest of five children, y'all, so. And all of them are my moms, just three of us are, but it was really hard. I'm not going to lie. It was like, wait, I'm the oldest of six. Me, Jayla, Sherrod, Moon, Fawn, Papa. I'm the oldest of six, y'all. 
that's sad. But um, yes, I am the oldest of six, so you know, a lot of stuff gets you know thrown on the oldest, and you know, I was tough enough to take it for as long as I could. And you know, I still take things to this day, but everything is just a little smoother since I stay on my own, and it has been the best thing for me, y'all. And I'm not telling you you have to move out this young or that young. You don't have to. I'm 19 now, almost 20, so I've been in my own place for almost three years now. Well, two and a half, something like that. I'm not good with math. I don't really know, but um, yeah, I moved out at 17 because I just felt overwhelmed and I was. I was really depressed and I just felt like if I went out on my own and started to conquer things on my own, then I would feel better and I've been feeling better. So that's why. Or it is, is it hard paying bills and staying on top of my responsibilities as a young adult? Um, well, as y'all know, I do stay with my boyfriend where we stay together. We have an apartment together and our first apartment was not, you know, as luxury looking or whatever you want to say as this apartment. So it wasn't as expensive. But um, I wouldn't say that the bills are hard, you know, but just as you grow, you are going to get more responsibilities because at one point in a time, you're going to have to be on your own. You know what I'm saying? So I always say it's only hard if you make it hard. Um, a lot of people try to make it seem like being an adult and being grown and paying bills and having kids and all that is the worst thing in the world. I can't speak for the having kids part, but as far as the paying bills and being grown in your own place, you know, you don't want to rush it. That's true because going from not being, I mean, not having to pay bills and pay a car note and, you know, stay on top of things, you know, with your parent there every step of the way. When that is gone, it's, it changes your whole perspective of life. It's just like, okay, I got to get this done. If this is not done, this won't get done, you know? So it's just, you have to stay on top of it. You just have to be consistent with everything in life, honestly. So I wouldn't say it's hard, but it's hard if you make it hard. So try to make it as easy as you can on yourself, you know, make sure you have a job, make sure you save, make sure you are paying bills on time, make sure you're building your credit, like, just make sure you stand on top of everything. You know, you don't want to be that person that moves out and have to move back in or moves out and get put out on how to where to go, you know, so it's only hard if you make it hard, honestly. Is, what is one of your biggest goals? of 2023 like what is something that i want to accomplish before 2023 is over and honestly one of the biggest things that i want to accomplish right now is starting another business because i do have something coming and planned out and all of that i am coming with something soon so i really hope that everything goes how i want it to go that way i can start my business and flourish so yeah that's really one of my biggest goals and to like build my content creator social media sites and you know youtube and things like that i really do want to just grow that's one of my biggest goals honestly to just grow elevate succeed you know i just want it for real but um the sixth thing is what's one place that i really want to visit um y'all i really 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 want to visit thailand um it might sound weird but y'all that is what i mixed with thailand and black so i've never been to thailand but i have people out there as far as my grandma's um sisters and you know family is out there she always goes to visit out there but i've never been i actually do want to go one day i'm not sure if I'm, i want to take it as a family trip because i know my dad was talking about going as a family one day or if i want to take it as like a date with me and my boyfriend but i don't know y'all i'm like scared to go but i really want to go because i've lost like family members out there that i never got to meet so i do want to go because i know there's people out there that are like my age like people that are younger than me and i want to go and like meet them like that would be so nice so yes y'all that is one place that i want to go another place that i want to go even though y'all didn't ask that another place that i do want to visit for sure for sure is paris like i don't know what it is with paris but i do want to go to paris i do but thailand is on my um list for sure it's the top probably number one on my list that I want to visit because I've never been, like I told y'all, and I have people there. So I really wanna go. I really wanna go. I'm so planning. Number eight, wait, number six, I'm sorry. 
Number seven is, do I have a new friend group and what happened to my old friends? Well, this is something I really don't like talking about either, but y'all asked, so here we are. Um, I don't really have a friend group. I have a friend here and I have a friend in New York. Y'all met Deja on my couple's channel. Y'all never met her on this channel, but her name is Deja. She is in a relationship also. They have a couple channel and everything. So, yeah, that is my friend. Then I have Lauren. Um, I talked about Lauren in my vlog, but y'all didn't get to see that. But, um, yeah, that was... I mean, not y'all didn't get to see that. Y'all didn't get to meet her when I told y'all I was going to meet her. But y'all will soon. Y'all will. I'm sorry that I did that. I don't know how that happened, but... I'll fix it. I'll let y'all meet her for real, for real. She's really, really cool. So, um, yeah, I don't really have a friend group, but my old friends, y'all know, it was only two of them. Um, it was always us, you know what I'm saying? It was just always us. Those were my girls, my dogs, my ride dogs, you feel me? Um, I just feel like when seasons change, the, the things and the people around you have to change. Um, I don't really mean that in a bad way, but... I'm big on God, right? And I pray about everything that comes my way. I don't care what it is or who it is. I'm going to pray about it because God is going to show me. He's always going to show me. So I wouldn't say that it's just, uh, what's the word? Like animosity between us. Maya, of course, she went to college and, you know, you meet people in college, you meet friends, you hang out, you do fun stuff, you know. We still talk every now and then. She invited me with her for her birthday and stuff like that. So, it's, you know, it's cool. But, I mean, you know, some people you just, you just kind of grow away from and, you know, you just, you just distance yourself. Things happen, you know, stuff happen that you would never bring to, you know, the internet. But... It is what it is. At the end of the day, you cannot soak in something that isn't there anymore. So, yeah. Number eight. Now that we're to number eight, it is what is one thing that I had to change about myself to make myself happy. Um, I felt like one of the hardest things I had to do, but it made me the happiest and kind of helped me become me, is stop trying to please everyone. Like. Stop saying yes to everything people tell me to do or ask me to do or want me to do. Because I'm a very, 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 very nice person. And I'm always, yes, I'll do it. Yes, I'll go. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, no. Okay? But honestly, that's one of the things that really made me happy with myself because it took so long for me to be able to tell someone no. And now that I'm telling people, you like... You're gonna have to wait. That's gonna have to wait. Like, no, I cannot do it. It makes me more happy because I'm able to do more for myself. Like, I was never able to just do stuff for myself because I was always doing stuff for people. But, yeah, y'all. Um, number nine is does my abusive relationship, and I hate talking about this, but does my abusive relationship affect the way I act in my current relationship? Um,. can't say no if you understand what I'm saying um it kind of have a little effect on it I feel like it always have an effect on me because everything is just so rough to me like I'm literally crying about things that aren't even meant to be cried about like if my boyfriend just says something too rough it kind of makes me sad because it's just like I don't know, I'm more emotional than I've ever been in my life. I've never been as emotional as I am now. And it's like when my boyfriend tries to play fight with me sometimes, it kind of bothers me a little bit. Even though, you know, he's never the type, he's never been the type to ever even act like he's gonna put his hands on me. But it's like sometimes I just get a like, boy, like don't play with me because I can't let nobody else do that to me. Like. 
no so i wouldn't say that it does but i wouldn't say that it doesn't because it does but i think it's kind of all in my mind now you know like it's not like a a physical thing it's just all in my mind because i'm always thinking about oh if this boy ever even though he don't ever give me that feeling like he always tell me you know i never put my hands on you and he's never going on three years he's never put his hands on me he's never disrespected me he's never did none of that but it's just like if you ever felt like you would i think i'm gonna have to kill you <laughs> Like, no joke, I cannot let that happen to me again, y'all. Like, I cannot believe I even, yeah, whatever. All right. Um, number 10 is, do I have any other jobs besides social media? Um, I have a business, and I'm working on another business. Tell y'all that. But um, other than that, no. I just work on my business and, you know, Instagram, TikTok, things like that. I cannot wait to, you know grow my youtube some more to start getting more you know what i mean but um other than that no y'all i don't work anywhere i used to i worked at hb academy um home health kirklands i love Kirk. that's my favorite job ever um i never worked in fast food i like retail but just it just was for me you know, and it might be for some people, and some people it really might not be for, it. and I was just one of those people, so. No, y'all. 11 is do I plan on having a baby anytime soon? Okay, let me put my hand. Third job. Like, let me put my hand for real. So, if you are tuning into my couple's channel, then you would know the news. Like, you would know. It's not news, y'all. I'm not pregnant. Don't take that the wrong way. I'm not pregnant. But, <sighs> trying to see how I say this and I uh, kind of not get in my business out of the way. But, y'all family, so, you know. But, um, yes. Mm -hmm. So, I do. Because I don't want to be an old parent. I just don't. I don't want to be a too young old parent. And I'm home now, so I did good. I didn't have a baby in high school and, you know, things like that. I didn't have a baby at 18, 17, about to be 20. It's time, like, that's just how I feel. Because by the time my baby get 10, if I have a baby when I'm 20, by the time my baby is 10, I'll be 30. Like, let's not act like time is not aligning, okay? But yeah, y'all, that's the last your question. Um, number 12 is do I ever want to get married? I better. Going on three years. I'm almost 20. What's up? Baby. <laughs> Let me get that. No, I'm just wondering. But no, for real, y'all, I do want to get married. I want that feeling. I cannot wait. I already know how I want my wedding. The only thing is, I don't know who's going to be in my wedding. So my family, because. I don't know y'all, but yes, I do want to get married. I want to be engaged. I cannot wait till a proposal happens to me. It's just so much. Like, I want to be so happy because I really deserve it. I really do. I just feel like who wouldn't marry me? I would marry me. And I know my man will marry me because he loves me, right? Yes, let's do it. <laughs> yes, I don't want to get married. But number 13 is one of my biggest pet peeves. So, I was just talking about this the other day when I was in the car. I was like, whenever I do my Q&A and I answer this question, I'm going to have to talk about this pet peeve because I literally hate it. And it might seem a little weird and I might not understand. But have you ever been in a car and like a water bottle or any type of bottle or anything is on the floor and every time you hit the brakes or drive it rolls back and forth oh jesus i hate that like i would literally stop in the middle of the road put the corner and park and pick it up off the floor because that irritates me like i cannot drive with that rolling on the floor like that that's one of my biggest pet peeves i hate it so much i really really do number 14 is why and how did my dream career change so 
a lot of people might not know because I never really talk about my career or nothing like that. But I have wanted to be a lot in life. And let me just tell you, it's okay to want to be a lot because you can be whatever you want to be. Like, life is there. Everything is there for you to chase it. Like, don't let nobody tell you it's something that you cannot do. But I wanted to be a psychologist at first. And I chased that dream for a long time. I chased that dream for a long time. And I really thought that I was gonna, you know, do it. But, you know how things begin to change. I wanted to run track. And I did run track since I was eight years old up until my 10th grade year in high school, y'all. So, I really wanted to run track. I really was gonna go to college for it. I wanted to be a teacher. I wanted to be everything like it was nothing that i didn't want to do but this i never thought i'd be doing it like i never thought i would be an influencer or like someone that people look up to you know and i don't look at myself as like famous or nothing like that because you know i'm normal i'm me i just got a little fame on the internet you see what i'm saying it's nothing too major but it's just the fact that i have that opportunity to really showcase myself you see what i'm saying and it's just it's just for me i just know that it's for me because i put my all into it like it's nothing i wouldn't do to pursue this dream so yeah um number 15 which is the last one um would i ever collab with any other influencers and if so who so the answer to that question is yes. Um, I have had some influencers, y'all believe it or not. I've had some influencers reach out to me, but all of them have been guys. And they have been big time like influencer guys. And I will drop some names, but I'm not gonna do that right now because I may collab with them soon. So yeah, I just have to, you know, I want everything by my boyfriend. It has something to do with another dude because you know, that's just a respectful thing to do. But he has never had a problem with it when I tell him about the guys or whatever. He was like, you know, babe, just, you know, do what you gotta do. This your dream, this what you wanna do. They do the same thing that you do, you know, just do what you gotta do. So I really respect him for respecting me and my wishes and my dreams. But you know, I just really haven't been too comfortable with the people that have been reaching out to me because it, it haven't been like they've been reaching out on some influencer like let's work type stuff you know it's been like you bad what's up you know so i haven't really just been too into the guy influencers but female influencers that i do 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 wish to link with and collab with soon even if it's further down the line but hopefully soon um for sure, Naya, who Naya, y'all know her, she's a TikTok influencer, I know y'all know her, she's like super freaking beautiful and like her personality is just out of this world, so her, um, she hasn't really noticed me yet, I don't think, I've never, you know, I come in on her videos and stuff, but she's never like coming in back or anything like that, but you know, I understand because people come in on my videos and I don't come in back to everybody because there's so many, you know, so I understand, but I do want to collab with her. Um, trend, trend just glow. I love me some trend, baby. And she actually followed me back on Instagram, y'all. I was super excited. Like, she's super, super pretty. Um, it was some other people, uh, that I had in mind. I need to write their names down so I can, like, you know, reach out to them for collabs or whatever. But I do want to, uh, collab with, um, Unique Lachey. I love Unique Lachey. Like, I just, I just love her. I've been watching her since literally her pregnancy video. And Amora is, like, so beautiful. She's gotten so big. I just want to collab with people who have a great personality. You know what I'm saying? Like, people who get on social media and literally interact with people that comment to their videos, like their videos, like they really just show their true personality, they're not stuck up and stuff like that. But y'all honestly it's a lot of other people, but nay, I do want to collab with her. Um it's a lot of other people that I do want to collab with one day. But you know I'm gonna just take it all a step at a time. Because of course 
we got on my side i feel like anything that i pray for and anything that i ask for it will happen eventually so but yeah you guys that was the 15 questions that i have for you guys for this q and a i hope you guys enjoy like i said make sure you give this video a big thumbs up do not forget to subscribe to my channel make sure you comment any more questions that you would like to know about me make sure you guys are staying in touch with me on social media my instagram tiktok everything is the same as my username at michaela or you already know it's your girl but i love you guys and i will see you guys in my next video